behind the wall and we were testing out Ronald and we have a visitor who is very interested in Ronald. This is happening right now folks, this is live. I think this is Hosanna. I'm not sure, maybe the viewers out there can tell us. It's a 3-3 three, three spot pattern on the face. It's only about four yards from us. And what a view. What a view. Unfortunately, we're not getting any view or any signal from Ronald himself. We're down here in the south trying to test that. But while we were doing so, we have been stalked upon by this beautiful cat who is looking very hungry. Any comments out there from the viewers if they know who this is? Dave, do you know who this is? It is Osana, and he has spotted something, folks. Look at the posturing of the body now. Look at this. We are. The wind is actually coming from directly behind us. I cannot see what he sees. But there's something has caught his attention in the bushes there. And he's going around. I think we might follow. What do you think, Dave? We'll just leave Ronald here. Or maybe I'll grab him quickly. I'll just grab him quickly. Son has just moved off. I'm just going to quickly grab our... No, I'm going to leave him. Our son is now... We'll just leave him there. I thought he was going to move off a bit further. We had Chitwa Chitwa Dam, folks. We were having some signal issues, but lo and behold, we have found a leopard. Or should I say, he has found us. <laughs> Dave initially thought he saw a lion walking up the hill here. But it was not a lion, it is the little prince. And he is beautiful. The wind has really picked up. It was a lot blowing and gusting a lot more than it was before and whatever it is that got his attention has now moved away and now I think he's going to come and say hello to Ronald again who is stranded outside of the vehicle look at that you can still see he's quite a young cat by the size it's definitely a male he's not a big leopard but for his age he is hello boy of the eyes. Yes, there is lots of wind, folks. We apologize for that. He is loving little Ronald. Hey, don't bite it. <laughs> there is a lot of wind coming off the dam here, folks. So we apologize for any wind audio coming through on the mic. Hosanna, do not eat Ronald. Oi. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to do now. Do I do I move him? Do I let him lick him? Let him make he's made friends. He knows Ronald. He knows him very well. And he is now sitting in our shade. This is what we call a commensalistic relationship whereby one species is using the shade created by another. Normally it is a tree that is creating the shade and now it is us. <laughs> Here is the tail. I wonder what he was seeing in the bushes there. It's not doing a very good job if he is going to go that way because the wind is blowing directly into the direction he's looking. And for a stalking hunting leopard that is not ideal. But the wind will mask whatever sort of uh, movement he makes. And really apologize for the shot here folks but he's right behind us. And there is nowhere for us to go right now. So we're just going to hang tight and hopefully he'll move into a better frame for us. My friend Hosanna with his friend Ronald. He is a very relaxed leopard. I could probably start the vehicle and move now. But he's feeling very playful and when I saw his belly before his belly looked very empty. He actually looked quite skinny. I 
wonder if I just move forward a little bit here and just turn. I think I might be able to get a, a better visual. Dave, just hold on there. Okay, so before we move, folks, uh, we're going to reposition here for you. And I believe Tristan has got that magnificent leopardess with her cup.